The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. But we do not pick it up. One of the gifts of the Spirit is knowledge. That can be observed at work in powerful groups where authentic gifts are at work and there is a genuine knowledge directly from the Holy Ghost which is not just natural or human. The gift of knowledge as such dans la science and in an authentic group it often works hand in hand with other gifts. Be that as it may, it is the same gift in a less dramatic way which can be given by the Holy Ghost to the soul that genuinely opens itself up. It is a sharpening of what is there, a sharpening of awareness, a sharpening of intuition, a perception, a piercing in and through. And for that to happen, a certain interiority is required. Why? The person who knows many things can't receive it. He knows them already. And he will be keen on sharing what he knows. And so, when in the presence of other souls, he will do the teaching. Also, he will be keen on having the last word and making sure that his dogma is the one that actually wins through. What hope is there? He knows already the answer to every possible question. Observe the man. He is perhaps right next to you. Knowledge is a participation in the wisdom that fills the whole world and created it. It is not therefore afraid of more of itself because it is all a participation to a higher degree in the Logos that knows and is behind all. St. John talks about an anointing. We have received an anointing and know all things. We are taught. That same John in the Gospel quotes the Saviour in the sixth chapter saying that they will be taught by God. That is referring to an Old Testament text, but he appropriates it. Docibiles, docile, taught by God. And so, the soul that is receptive and interior will learn all and not distinguish between the fount of knowledge on the human and on the divine. Why? It's the same logos that one is participating in. All truth is his. And therefore, one is thrilled to get more knowledge. <laughs> Are facts, be they historic facts, be they scientific facts, it is all participation in divine knowledge, a growth in intimacy with its author. Now that should have consequences. A person who comes at an unexpected truth and becomes nervous, becomes even loud, tense and worse still aggressive is no longer in receptive mode. The person on the other hand who knows many things is very calm at a new grain of information. He is able to collocate it in the complete spectrum. That is why culture is part of the gift of knowledge well understood. The perfect culture is the wide knowledge of many elements. 
the person who has a little culture will not be ever calm. There is an old saying which is very, very true. A little learning is a very dangerous thing. Having said that, there is another specific element of knowledge which is given by the Holy Ghost. It's the knowledge of souls. When before the mystery of another soul, one should be humble as before the tabernacle and want to enter into that soul. Again, what hope is there if one has a lot to teach that soul and nothing to learn from it? Opening a soul is a whole art. Alas, not every religious superior seems to have it. What hope there is there to be able to truly accompany a soul that one has not yet met? And so it is that before the mystery of life one is calm. Oftentimes problems emerge in conversation precisely because there's fear. It manifests itself in high decibels. Often a calm sharing of greater knowledge shown for what it is without raising the voice, can be enough to disengage from a potential explosion. What is there to be gained from high decibels? It can happen, alas, even in a religious community. The Holy Ghost may invoke, may be invoked at the beginning the spirit of man takes over in the midst and the result is noise and noise is not the friend of knowledge.